After implementing and practicing the methods I will teach you in this video, I promise you that you will never waste your precious time on another zero kill high death session ever again. To get an idea of where I am at in my skill level at PvP, I've put the highlights of my latest flight on the screen. get you hyped up to become Maverick himself, there's no hope for you. Pay attention to this first tip as this is one of the most important things I am going to teach you today. I wish I learned this way sooner than I did and that, my fellow pilots, is breaking contact and defending when your missile goes active. When I was learning, the amount of times I shot a missile and just kept flying hot towards the bend just to get slapped in the face with an MRAM was astonishing. You might be thinking, okay, so now I know that I'm meant to go defensive after a missile goes active. But how the heck do I know when my missile has gone active? The answer is quite simple, yet it is vitally important. However, sadly, it is overlooked by many new pilots. New pilots tend to shoot a missile and keep hold onto the bandit, giving the bandit's missile a nice and straight path to the pilot's face. And this itself is one of the biggest reasons why you are losing fights. So, how do you know when your missile is active in the F-16? Well, let me show you. As you can see, we're going to pause here. We've got A10 there. That means 10 seconds until the missile goes active. So let's go ahead and fox. So now we've fired our missile. As you can see, there are two numbers here, A7 and A6. The bottom one is corresponding to this missile that we have just fired, which means six seconds and that missile go active. The top one is a prediction of if we were to fire another missile right now, it would take seven seconds for it to go active. Now let's have a look. Six seconds, we'll wait for it to go active. One, target to impact, we're gonna break lock. I'm gonna start evading. There he is down there. And splash. As you can see, this missile did hit him, even though we dropped the lock. Now that you have learnt that you should evade any possible missiles after your missile goes active, you may be wondering, well Weston, how should I evade? Well, the answer varies depending on your situation, so pay attention, because each method is only effective with its corresponding situation. Now, I am not going to cover BVR defense in this video. For that video, click the cards at the end of the video. Imagine yourself strolling through the flat plains west of Katasi. And on your way to slap some red 4, you lock onto a target and shoot at 12 nautical miles. Your missile goes active, but your RWR screams at you. You now have a missile chasing you. In this situation, it is best to crank left or right, forcing the missile to turn, bleeding its energy, and then running cold before re-engaging. If you know that your speed's high as you do this, you should evade him. Once again, if you both defeat each other's missiles, just repeat these steps until he's dead. let's say you're flying through the Caucasus mountain ranges in growling sidewinders and you lock a target 20 nautical miles away and you fox at 15 nautical miles away you anxiously wait for your missile to go active at two seconds until activation your rwr screams at you informing you that the bandit has foxed on you your heart pumps time slows down as the time until activation slowly counts down to zero finally your missile is active in this situation it would be best to duck behind the mountain and break lock all the while your missile is traveling towards the bandit. If the first missile fails, just repeat these steps until they are dead. Many pilots tend to get tunnel visioned on their radar screen. This is not a good idea. You need to balance looking at your instruments while looking around the sky with your eyes. If you are always looking at radar, a plane can see you, outflank you and shoot you down with a Fox 2. So remember, always be looking out of the cockpit as much as you are looking at the radar instruments. You'll never see me getting tunnel visioned on my radar. I'm always looking around and then glancing at my radar. And there you have it, my top 3 tips to become an excellent PvP player in the DCS World F-16. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and do all that good stuff. I regularly make Milsim videos on my channel here. We play Squad, Armor 3, DCS World, and a whole bunch of other Milsim games. If you like that sort of content, maybe stick around and subscribe. That's all from me. Bye. Please don't get too close, though. Not my missile I'm already chased. I'm on his tail. Me too. Just... Not yet. A splash! <laughs>